Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what neuronal ceroid lipofuncinosis is, the history of neuronal ceroid lipofuncinosis, its causes, signs, and symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and prognosis. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. Neuronal ceroid lipofuncinosis are a group of rare disorders of nerve cells. Disorders include Cuffs or Perry disease, Batten disease, and jansky bielkowski disease. Neuronal ceroid lipofuncinosis are classified by the effective gene, which is one of the following, CLN1, CLN2, CLN3, CLN5, CLN6, CLNJ, CLN8, and CLN10. Each gene mutation can take effect at different life stages and have different symptoms. A mutation in the CLN3 can result in blindness, but it does not necessarily occur with other CLN mutations. The first described case of neuronal ceroid lipofuscinosis was a report of four siblings in Norway that presented with progressive visual loss, cognitive decline, seizures, and premature death. The report went unnoticed for 150 years. In the 19th century, B. Sox, a neurologist, coined the term a moderatic familiar idiocy to describe the group of symptoms. Later, adult onset cases were described with different distinguished features, leading to the classification of these storage diseases. Neuronal ceroid lipofuscinosis are caused by mutations in any of several genes. These mutations are also inherited in an autosomal recessive manner. The affected genes all produce proteins, which when the gene is mutated, become deficient, absent, or ineffective. These proteins interfere with the breakdown of lipids when they accumulate within the nerve cells and other body tissues. There are a wide variety of symptoms that can vary from patient to patient. Symptoms can include seizures, speech delays, ataxia, loss of motor skills, cognitive decline, visual impairment, myoclonus, dementia, personality changes, psychiatric symptoms such as aggression, and extrapyramidal symptoms. Diagnostic tests include blood or urine tests to detect abnormalities. Other tests include enzyme activity for CLN1 or CLN2 is measured, DNA analysis, electroencephalograms to measure seizure activity, eye studies to check for conditions typical of CLN3, CT or MRI scans to study atrophic brain areas, and tissue sampling to look for deposits typical of neuronoceroid lipofunctionosis. The only form of neuronal ceroid lipofuscinosis which has any treatment available is CLN2. Brineura has been shown to slow or even stop the rate that walking and speech were lost. There are no other treatments for other forms of neuronal ceroid lipofuscinosis other than symptom control. Examples would be anti-epileptic drugs to control seizure activity and physical therapy to help patients retain motor functioning as long as possible. The outlook for neuronal ceroid lipofuncinosis depends on the age of onset. Younger patients are at greater risk for a disability, including blindness and mental problems, as well as early death. Patients who develop the disease in adulthood have milder symptoms, no vision loss, and normal life expectancy. In conclusion, neuronal ceroid lipofuncinosis are a group of rare disorders of nerve cells. Neuronal ceroid lipofuscinosis are classified by the affected gene, which is one of the following, CLN1, CLN2, CLN3, C 
CLN5, CLN6, CLNJ, CLN8, and CLN10. The first described case of neuronal ceroid lipofuncinosis was a report of four siblings in Norway that presented with progressive visual loss, cognitive decline, seizures, and premature death. There is very little treatment, and most treatments are used to control the symptoms, such as anti-epileptic medication and physical therapy. Younger patients are at risk for disability and premature death, while adult onset has milder symptoms, and patients can live a normal life expectancy. To learn more about neuronal ceroid lipofuncinosis, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.